So Matt, you help a lot of companies creating a culture of abundance and also empowering an abundance profit culture. So why having that culture is important in attracting job seekers? Yeah, so that's a, that's a great question. I love the, the APC tool, the Abundant Profit Culture, is something I love to teach uh, businesses, uh, CEOs, executives, individuals, uh, because to, to have the, uh, the ability to have abundance in our life and understanding abundance is important. But if we have a business or, or, or um, an opportunity of some sort where we actually apply an abundance culture, Mm -hmm. then it's an opportunity for people to grow. Like, for example, maybe you have a business and, um, you know, you're selling a certain product mm -hmm. and uh, salespeople are selling products and they have a chance to make commission. Let's say you're making 15% commission, right? So let's say maybe they make 15% commission, but abundant profit culture system might be they do 15%, but 2% more, so 17%, 2% more of that sale might go to the uh, cancer society or it might go to building a well in, in a desert somewhere where people have no water, right? It's an opportunity where people work together inside of a situation or a company or, or, or whatever, mm -hmm. um, that they work together to produce an abundance profit culture where the profits are actually in abundance and the life is abundance and the opportunity of abundance of the company and the people are to help other people, right? Mm -hmm. So it attracts people to say, look, when I get this job, not only am I gonna be just selling you know, paper, or not only am I gonna be selling or whatever, you know, I'm also having an opportunity to make a change in the world by what I'm doing. And this company believes in making a difference. Mm -hmm. And when you have that culture, when you have that place that's, a, that's developed in there, it helps stir up people's gifts and helps them to be able to apply things in life that are really, really powerful. Yeah, because it's all about giving back and giving that and having that uh, attitude or gratitude uh, attitude uh, for the job seeker. But we also talked in previous year that have, if you identify your true values, is it important to have an alignment with the company's values so that you know it's all matching? Or sometimes it as we saw as we talk that due to pandemic, sometimes people are just taking a job for the sake of the job. So how is value alignment important these days? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, still, it's still an important thing. I mean, even when we have to take a detour, there are gonna be some things you're just not gonna be so happy about. But when there's things that are just, you know, in life we've got some, we've got some closed-fisted things and open-handed things in our lives. Some closed-fisted things like, I will never do this, I don't believe in this, this will never happen. And this one's like, eh, maybe I could do this, maybe I could do that. But if you decide to take a position that you've got some closed-fisted stuff in and they're saying the opposite of that, it's not going to work. You might as well just forget it no matter how much money it's going to pay because you're going to be horrible. Mm. They're going to hate what's going on. You're going to hate what's going on. You're going to be a, making a big mess. It's just not worth it. It might as well wait for the next opportunity. But when we find a place where we can align our values, it gives us an opportunity to advance in every area. It might even be that the boss says, you know, look, I know you had to take this job because it was just a job, but you know what? I've got a friend who has a company and he has this position open. I think you'd be great for it. So when we walk into places where we can really flow and, uh, and pro produce things for other people and flow in that abundance right yeah. it opens up opportunities that we may never knew were there and is it important just 100 percent alignment or 80 percent is good or it all depends on per people applying for the job yeah i never thought about it on a percentage scale you know i would think probably if you're kind of iffy an 80 20 principle would work very well right i mean because you're going to be able to still function on an 80 20 you're still pretty much all in and a little bit, yeah, right? But if it's even less than that, they're gonna have some problems. But on a percentage scale, I'd go there. But you know, again, if it comes down to things that just are, are closed-fisted, open-handed, and something goes against one of those things, um, it's just not gonna be worth it. Those are great tips, Matt. Thank you very much. And again, for the audience watching and listening, if you have any other tips in terms of value alignment, please leave comments below. And tune in next time for other great question with Matt.